Hi guys, this is Gova, your Holy City driver, coming at you on this nice Wednesday day from the lovely town of uh, Monk's Corner, South Carolina. So, yeah, I've uh, been, you know, I love the feedback some of y'all give be giving me. You know, I had a comment today on a, one of the older videos about how I start trips and the whole open container bit. Um, and you know yeah it's a problem but not as big of a problem as the child safety seats as you saw in my last video I kind of got a little pissed off about it and guess what guys if y'all don't like the language in this video just skip on by because I'll tell you this now I'm back and the filters off so that being said child safety seats is my number one priority right now that is going to be my biggest push in every video coming up here recently i am going to try not to blast it that bad but it is a number one issue in my opinion so that being said welcome to my videos if you like the content don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please go to YouTube, subscribe to my channel. I do these videos for free. Yes, for free. YouTube does not pay me yet. But that's a whole nother story. I got to get like a thousand subscribers before that happens. So. Also, since it's early in the video and some of y'all are still watching... Whenever we hit 100 subscribers, I will post a video, and I will also post it on social media. If you are subscribed to my channel, I will be giving away, and this is if you want it, if you already have one, I ask, you know, give, some, give, give a newer driver who hasn't been able to meet the requirements a chance, and I will pay the shipping to ship this to you if you're out of the state of South Carolina. I will be giving away my old lift amp. The base and the charging cord is supposed to be getting shipped to me. Um, that one there I bought because I didn't have the requirements. The requirements kept flip-flopping in the market. And then once they actually got it set down in stone, I was able to meet it. And they sent me just the pill form of the amp right now. I'm waiting for a charging cord in the base. I will be giving away the brand new charging cord in the base because I've already went out. I bought the cord I like. Um, that actually is compatible with my Samsung charger, which is a higher amperage charger, so it actually charges it up a little bit better and quicker. Um, also, I already got the base secured the way I want it secured and I'm just going to give away the new uh, base so that's the deal if we hit 100 subscribers alright now we're getting to the meat, and meat part of this I was reading the other day and I was catching on Facebook on some of the groups I'm a part of in New York City right now Lyft is cutting the minimum rate it's like 585 is the minimum fare they're dropping it down to $3.52 I will tell you this, if that happens here in this Charleston, South Carolina market, I guarantee you every driver who runs UberX needs to stand up and voice their opinion. Because A, that will be wrong because they take 25% of that $3 of some change. That is wrong. Alright? I'm going to throw this hashtag back out there. Hashtag pay drivers fair. I love the fact how Lyft, off the peninsula, out to a certain distance, implemented a minimum $10 fare. I love that. That was one of the best things I have seen Lyft do. Yes, it slowed business down because Uber has not done, followed suit. But, it's only temporary. July 31st, Lyft has already, already said that they're going to put it back um, where it was at. In my opinion, I understand where they're coming from. And I will agree with their assessment there. Their assessment is dead on. You know. I think it's more or less an experiment on their part. Trying to see 
how high did you put the minimum fare to help us drivers before riders just stop using the platform, which could be a possibility. Um, also, they're probably f testing the market on the fares. How much is someone willing to pay for a lift ride? I tell you, I'll tell you this now. I know a lot of people that'll spend more money with a lift ride than they would with Uber. So, that's my second point I wanted to cover today. All right, my third point is us as drivers, we represent your market. You represent yourself, you represent the brand. The brand is Uber, the brand is Lyft. All right, both of these organizations have to have us drivers. So, I'm gonna put this out there. I have my Facebook and Twitter page, the Holy City Driver, or Holy City Driver, pardon me, take the D off. Um, like them, follow me, turn your notifications on. The reason why is if you are local in Charleston, South Carolina, Columbia, Myrtle Beach, uh, Hilton Head, Savannah area, Greenville, Spartanburg, Florence, if you're in one of those markets, get the word out. You know, yes, we're independent contractors, but we have a voice. The problem is we need to stop fighting with each other and we need to stand together. United, we stand divided we fall divided uber can cut the rates uber can lower the minimum fare uber can treat veteran drivers veteran drivers the ones who have been doing this the longest they can discriminate and give priority to a new driver even though the veterans closer that is something uber has been doing I have a couple good friends that run the premium platforms, and they've been noticing it. Listen, guys. United we stand. Divided we fall. It's time to unite as the drivers in South Carolina. You know, it's time to put boots to the ground. Let's educate these riders. You know, together, if everybody has a tipping option on an Uber, we could prompt for more tips. Yes. There is laws in the book that says you cannot take cash tips. That is a state regulatory issue. But if all of us drivers unite and we get onto our politicians and we do petitions, we can try to get that changed to where that is taken off of that bill, the Uber Lyft bill that would make it a better for us drivers to protect us from fines and fees so that's another part I wanted to cover um, I am trying to find out I am trying to design a tip sign that prompts for in-app tipping and not cash just to cover my behind and once I get it designed and worded just the right way that I think is going to work, I'm going to try to get, I got a few friends that do uh, printing and stuff, I'm going to get a couple made, and I'm going to see how it goes. I will be the guinea pig, and if it works for me, I'll be more than happy. I'll pass along the information, you know, I'll pass along, I'll find out how much it costs me to get it made, and I'll get a few made, and I'll sell them to y'all without a problem. I don't mind helping y'all guys out. But like I said, united we stand, divided we fall. So, that being said, remember, pass along this hashtag, hashtag pay drivers fair. Let's stand with these other YouTubers that are rideshare drivers and all of our rideshare partners and let's stand together against Uber's discriminatory and their dropping of the rates. Guys, I remember when the rates were over double what they are now. Now it's time for us to make a stand. Alright guys, have a good Wednesday. 
don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you watch this far into it, and have a wonderful day.